This is the Texas Instruments Jacinto 6 platform, one of the new um, heterogeneous SOCs that's coming to the market. This spe specific piece of hardware has two Cortex, has a dual core Cortex A15 and dual core M4 cores as well. And what that's enabling people to do is consolidate what used to require two different um, chips in the past. What we've done is we've gone ahead and taken our automotive technology platform from Mentor Graphics and ported that to execute on the two, two Cortex A15s. And the Autosar platform from Mentor Graphics is executing on the M4s. We've also implemented the inter-process communication between the M4 cores and the A15 cores in order to send data between the two processors. In this case, the Cortex A15 cores are running two applications. One of those is the instrument cluster that you see here, and the other one is the infotainment system. So we're able to take advantage of this multi-core um, architecture with the Cortex A15 to run multiple applications separated. As far as technology options, um, SMP and AMP options, of course, are valid. And we also um, will have a hypervisor that will support this implementation to give you separation, whether you want to include Linux, bare metal, or Android moving forward. On the M4 core, what we've done is brought in uh, Mentor's Autosar stack. And what that is doing is interfacing with a um, CAN simulator to simulate vehicle data and share that with infotainment and cluster systems. That way we can separate those two application domains within hardware and then use the inter-process communication mechanisms to be able to transfer data from the M4 to the A15.